Hi, this is Lee Ellis with another installment of Leading with Honor Coaching. You know, there are many complex things involved in leadership, but to be honest, I like to focus mostly on the simple ones that carry over into all of those complex items. And today, you might be surprised to learn that probably one of the most important things you can ever do is so simple, we all know it, and that is to listen. Listening is so important. Now, over the period from about 2005 to about 2015, we surveyed hundreds of leaders, maybe thousands, and I still do this exercise. I try to get them, individuals in the workshop or in the group or in the auditorium there, to think of the one thing of their greatest leader. Now, we assume that they were trustworthy, they had good character, honest integrity, and we assume they're a hard worker. And what was the attribute of your greatest leader that made them so special for you? Guess what? By far, the number one item has been, they listened to me. Isn't that amazing? It tells you there's something very special about listening. Well, recently, uh, I was at a, a conference, at a meeting, and doing some workshops, and I ran to a three-star general, Air Force. It was a military event. And I asked him, I said, well, if you were speaking to new generals, what's the one piece of advice you would give to them? And he said, I would tell them to listen. Now, that was a pretty smart guy. Well, he was highly respected, so I guess he practiced what he preached. Listening carries so much weight. But it's not easy because many of us are not naturally wired to listen. In fact, we know from many years of our work and our assessments that 40% of the population is naturally wired toward task and getting things done and to stop and listen to someone else's ideas and thoughts is just not a natural uh, behavior for them. They have to learn to adapt. Great leaders learn to adapt, whether it's being tough or being a good listener and being kind and thoughtful. So listening there again is so important. One of the things about listening, though, is to remember that when you listen to someone, they feel valued, they feel important, they feel like you care. And that is critical because when they feel that way, their performance goes up. They're more positive. They believe in themselves. And when you as a leader believe more in yourself authentically and you help them believe in themselves, performance goes up, relationships get better. You know, in the POW camps, we did a lot of listening. We were locked up with no magazines, no TV, no movies for years. And so what did we do? We listened to our teammates. If fortunately, most of the time I had a, a roommate, a cellmate, uh, some guys were in solitary for a while, but even then we tapped on the walls to listen to each other and so they could stay connected. But listening became so important for us and we got to know our cellmates really well. So listening is not only great for leaders, but it's great for the people that work for them, that get listened to, but it's not easy. So I want to encourage you to know your natural behavior. We have that uh, information available in our leadership behavior DNA assessment. Know your natural behavior. And if your tendency is to not be a good listener, then work on it. Learn to adapt. Great leaders learn to adapt. We all have to adapt. Now, you want to go with your strengths, but you need to learn to adapt in areas where you're not strong. And when you do that, you become so much more balanced as a leader. And in this particular case, we're talking about listening. When you do that, people feel valued, they feel important, and they see you as a great leader, probably, especially if you know how to get results. So I encourage you, think about listening. Be conscious, be thoughtful, be planful about how to listen to people and listen to them with both parts of your brain. The results, uh, separate learning, they call it, and also the relationship side. Remember, you're talking to a human being who's very much connected to their feelings, and when you are able to relate to that, it makes you that much more powerful. Well, here we go. It's time to start listening. And I'll tell you, to be honest, I really have to work very hard at it. My wife, my wife will tell you I've been a slow learner, but I'm getting better every year. Take care and God bless. We'll see you next month.